Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again! Let's celebrate the day! What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? Welcome back for another fun episode. Yes! A cruise drink yes. right off of a carnival ship. I am really excited for this cruise drink because the weather is is calling this for this drink. <laughs> so winter is upon us. Winter is upon us. It was 53 degrees this morning. Which was uh, higher than 20 degrees higher than the high or where I was earlier this week. So. But it was 20 degrees colder than yesterday. We're still out here in shorts. Okay. I don't even have shoes on. Okay. But it is a little blustery, so I apologize if the wind noise, uh, you know, happens. Right. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do Jamaican coffee. One of our favorites every time we're in the MDR, right? MDR, yep. I love Jamaican coffee. Um, a, I love coffee, so that's not hard to, yeah. I like coffee, and then you add alcohol to it, and and it, Jamaican alcohol, and it it's a bonus. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, I, there's, I don't think there's any history on this. Uh, some, any, any place there was booze and coffee at the same time, somebody thought to mix this together. Yep. Jamaican, or like a, uh, What's the Irish one? Irish coffee Irish. is uh, is whiskey and Irish coffee whiskey and, and coffee. whatever, and maybe some other ingredients. There's hot buttered rums. With yeah, but I mean, there's Jamaican all sorts coffee of fun is stuff. basically just rum based yes. coffee and or coffee drink. Right. So, at any rate, um, on Carnival's website, I, I usually see it on the uh, the after dinner cocktails menu, and uh, it's described mm -hmm. as an after dinner classic that's both soothing and inspiring. It's got Appleton Jamaican rum in it. Uh, Tia Maria, a coffee liqueur, uh, and uh, simple syrup. Uh, they do top it if you wish with uh, ice or whipped excuse cream. me, whipped cream. And I re recall like, having a couple of them with a dash of sprinkle of something or other on uh, it. Sprinkle of stuff. So usually, if I forego the whipped cream, I don't get the little sprinkle of stuff. Right? But, no sprinkle. You know, then it gets all in your mustache, and mm. so we'll 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 check it out. I think we're also going to try and mod this recipe for yes. a little bit of fun, maybe on drink two. <sighs> Phew! That, okay. was, that was a lot of words. You no, know, I didn't know my lungs were that big, dude. Wow. A lot of All words. All right, so let's get down to mixing. Do so I, do basically, you want I'll. Want me to measure? Yeah, that's fine. I'll throw the recipe up. Uh, it's an ounce of dark rum, as uh, they stated, they're using Appleton, Jamaican rum. We're just going to use Bacardi Black. Uh, an ounce of coffee liqueur, they stated Tia Maria. We're going to use uh, Kahlua. Uh, six or eight ounces of coffee. Uh, basically, Woo! it's just going to be uh, top up what you have with coffee. So, in uh, the case of this, we might be a little light on the booze, but we might be a little strong on the uh, coffee. We'll, we'll work it out. Top it with whipped cream, sprinkle a little allspice on it, and you've got yourself a Jamaican coffee. This drink, let's do the math. God, I love Kahlua. Yeah, Kahlua's good shit. The Tia Maria is really good, and I think that's why they call for simple syrup in theirs, because the Tia Maria is not <gasps> quite as uh, sweet. I would say right. as, as Kahlua. So we're gonna forego the the tea or the simple syrup on this one just because I think it's gonna be fine with just the uh, Kahlua. But you know, you get the general idea. Okay, so the booze. I need the recipe though. <clears throat> it's not that tough. Here you go. Okay. Put my thingy on it. Okay. That didn't help at all, did it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. It's fine. There we go. The booze. So it has an ounce of uh, 40 proof in it, an ounce of 20 proof in it, and the rest is coffee. And so then we're gonna add, I would say, six, seven ounces of mixers in it. You don't have to fill them all the way up if you don't want. So we end up with a uh, total of a uh, nine ounce drink, and it runs about 6.7% ABV. Obviously, it's not gonna water itself down unless you wanna make an iced coffee, which, hey, that might be that on the table, be, right? That would be, that would be pretty good. Uh, it has about 0.6 of an ounce of pure alcohol in it. So last week, you know, we did the uh -oh. spicy chipotle pineapple martini, blah, 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 blah. which was quite strong and came in an 11.4% drink. So we should we should fare much better this week. Thank God. Where we could have drink three, four, five. I wouldn't say it's an all-day drink <laughs> because it's coffee-ish. I will caution you that I have some experience with caffeine and booze at the same time. Nice. She shoots, so she scores! <laughs> right? Okay, I don't do this, sh oh, do I stir it first? Sure. <laughs> um, I have some experience with Red Bull and vodka, and obviously the uh, Jamaican is an after dinner staple for us. Uh, the caffeine wears off before the booze. Uh, 
Oh. So you think you're holding your own. You think you've got it covered. And the next thing you know, the caffeine bails on you and leaves you hammered. Drunk! <laughs> this especially happened to me with Red Bull. And uh, voilà. for a little flair, if you like it a little creamier, if you use the flavored uh, French vanillas or whatever, pumpkin spice, uh, hey, toss a little of that in there too. Yeah. If you don't think it's boozy enough, keep on trucking. I did it. Nice. That's pretty too. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. Now, I, I believe ours was a little creamed in the, on the ship. I recall it being whiter. Yeah, it, but it I was. I think you just nailed it right there. Yeah, it just needed some. It, it, yeah. it was too white for me. But so I just fixed that. It's it's really uh, one of those drinks. That's, yeah, please. It's one of those drinks that you can do whatever with and enjoy the day. Thank God, because some of these drinks are really powerful, and it 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 it's it's um they they stick with you for a while. Well, like I said, I caution you on the caffeine versus alcohol. Oh, that's much better. That's pretty damn close. Yes. I would be interested to try this with some other things. So we are definitely going to mod this recipe come round two, right? We are. I'm excited to mod it. Okay. This this so, is, this actually. Here's a little um, something to get your winter started. Hopefully, uh, your winter doesn't suck. Uh, we're we're strategically placed in Florida to avoid this such things. Um, and you okay. Yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of excited. I don't know how many carbs are in the Kahlua. Um, I did no. I did no, but um, there's very <laughs> it's a little, little late now. It's already in a glass. Right? There's <laughs> very few carbs in this. There's no carbs in this. What? Um, Stop. Tell me more about no carbs in whipped cream. How, how did I not know that? 74 servings, two tablespoons is one carb. <laughs> so, so I mean, I am going to be puffing the... whipped cream <laughs> from now. <laughs> but, now on. Um, so Give yeah. Me again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that might be a little more than two tablespoons, but it's well, only one carb, and we haven't had any carbs yet today. Oh, I'm sorry. After you, my dear. <laughs> I love you. I've got some great news for you today. <laughs> Whipped cream is good on carbs. <laughs> How's that possible? I thought it was basically like no. uh, a whipped sugar of sorts. No. Well, hence the name whipped cream. Yeah, that's why. Huh. I, yes, that's why I use heavy whipping cream in my coffee. Um, Genius. And then I do. Um, it's always good to have the smart sugar -free one flavoring. in the relationship too, right? <laughs> Oh god damn. That's <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So you know the drill. We're oh gonna... that that's it. It they double dose it. You think it's whipped or stirred with whipped cream and then topped with whipped cream yeah, that you stir. They double in. dose it. Right. Because that's it. I imagine this would be a fantastic drink with uh, the coffee creamer that's flavored in it, you know, as they come out with the pumpkins Ooh. and the pint the the, the mint one, peppermint. Peppermint. What's the other strawberry or eggnoggy? Maybe yeah. I don't know. You know, hey. I have a caramel pecan flavoring in the kitchen right now. Mm. Right. Well, tell me more about this caramel pecan thing. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So we won't belabor the point that this is delicious uh, right. right out of the gate. And we're gonna mod the and beep the, out of it later. Uh, it's relatively windy it's here. It's really. <laughs> It's very windy. Yes. All right. We'll drink these. We'll be back after we're done. Yeah. Oh, what's the ABV on this? I said 6.7. I was... Oh, I got this. Uh, sorry, I was measuring and not listening. I'm, I'm very yeah. sorry, honey. Yeah, it's all, well, I mean, versus last week where we were at 11.2. <laughs> Cheers, baby. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. All right. Welcome back. Hi. That was yummy. It is a good drink. And, and it... Yeah, it's 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 comforting on when your temperatures aren't eighty, <laughs> or if you're anywhere other than Florida where it's considerably chilly. Yeah, it's like seventy five right now and breezy, and it's kind of chilly. Yeah, well for us it's chilly. But yeah, we could always put more clothes on. That's true. <laughs> 
So you talked about modding this thing up. Yeah, I say we replace the dark rum with spice rum. Okay, that would explain why the Kraken's on the table. It definitely would. Unless there's other things you want to play with. I mean, by all means, party hardy, Marty. Well, I can go grab the caramel pecan. Caramel pecan. Okay, be right back. So, like I said, one of the things that will caution you is uh, caffeine and liquor don't have the same wear off period. <laughs> caffeine will leave you high and dry with all the booze left behind. But luckily, this is a pretty manageable drink, really, right? I mean, if you think about it, it's only a 6.2 or whatever it came out to be. So, uh, the. Alrighty. <laughs> The, uh, the ABV is definitely all day. Right. But caution, if you're feeling fine, you, you might get behind once the caffeine fails on you. Or you gotta just uh, supplement. Yeah, I'm feeling a slight buzz, um, but not anything that would e even prevent me from drinking another one. Um, Let's do so, the blowy. So this is from Jordan Skinny Syrups out of Clearwater, Florida. And um, it is the caramel pecan flavoring. I've tried four different flavorings uh, of theirs. There's zero carbs, zero gluten, and zero calories. Zero, zero, zero. Yep, yeah, this whole thing says zero. 0 0.07 for old Jace. 0 0.07? We may have pushed the 20-minute uh, waiting period to 15. And I think you did pregame. Uh, I had a couple uh, sips off of beer, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Um. So yeah, I uh, Jordan Skinny Syrups. I've had some, you know, a couple of bottles of his. I've tried four different flavors. I'm really impressed. Um, and like I said, zero carbs, zero calories. Oh, I got it. It's very strong. Okay, I'm point oh seven too. Twins. Right? That's never happened. <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, and this is actually the flavoring that I flavored your coffee with this morning. Ah, well, it is much better when you dilute it some. I can tell you this straight away. It wouldn't be something I would chug from the bottle. Okay. Um, Get down. So we're doing Kraken. Quacken. The Quacken. Chris just favy. You can tell. We buy it by the gallon jug. <laughs> and I tried to hold out. I really did. I was like, no, I'm not going to get any more Kraken. No, I'm going to try other rums. So we got Bacardi Black and we got Captain. And I do like Captain. Um, but I keep going back to the Kraken. But the Kraken has a lot of carbs. So <laughs> that's a problem. One ounce of this. Um, I am going to try to make carb-free Kahlua. I think I can get that accomplished. Or we can just have Kahlua out of the bottle. We can do that too. Because they pretty much got it figured out. Yeah, they do. Um, Tia Marie, is it Tia Maria? Or Tia, whatever that. The um, other coffee liqueur. The other coffee liqueur. <laughs> it's, the recipe calls for. Yeah, it's only 19 carbs per ounce. And um, Kahlua is 14 per ounce. Why are you measuring just not kind of pouring? Because I'm trying to be precise so we have our stuff dialed gotcha. in. Precision. That's what you can expect over here at the Degenerate Channel. <laughs> dilly dilly. Oh, I need to have three more ounces for that one. Oh, but uh, not in that bottle. Nope, I don't think you're going to get it out of there. Back up. Ooh, it made a little pop like a beer. It had me all excited there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, coffee. Okay, three more ounces there. We're gonna add half an ounce of this. And if you got some coffee creamer laying around that you enjoy, then uh, you know, give it a splash. Bloop, bloop. It's like a little diver. Okay, and we did um, 
Okay, you want to stirry stirry? Oh, Where are you heading there? I made a mess. And it's not working for me. I got like coffee all over the place. Oh my, I'm going to need wipes. Thought we were going to make it through a whole episode without wipes, but nope. it ain't happening. You know it's better than that at this point. Okay, and we'll top it off. Stop it off. Top it off with some mustache filler. <laughs> mustache filler. And then here's... It's like moose. Oh! Oh. Oh my. I, I didn't get... <laughs> Don't put your... <laughs> Smell this. <laughs> no! Okay. Okay. So we should have a caramel pecan coffee. Spiced coffee. Extra. Yep. Yep. I think uh, my out of the gate at home would be the spiced rum. I agree. I can taste the caramel, but you can definitely feel the difference or taste the difference between the spice. Yeah. And I think the whipped cream, um, it you can use heavy whipping cream. I mean, we actually had the little pa the the whipped cream here. <coughs> um, Actual cream that's been whipped. Yes, cream that has been whipped. Um, but you could use just you know a little whipping cream out of the. Sorry. I don't get to be part of this party no more. I didn't know you, if you wanted to have mustache filler or not. <laughs> no, I would really prefer not to. Okay. It's like those little marshmallows that you put in hot chocolate <laughs> that they don't go away. Yeah, I'm trying to mush them. You're like, come on, you little bastard. Right? Okay. I love that. Uh, it's just got enough boozy heat where it's pleasant but not overdone. Right. Yeah, that's good. And the caramel pecan adds a little bit of happy. Because everybody wants a glass of happy. Yes. I want a plate of happy. Happy, 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 happy. Alrighty. So what do we do now? Same as we always do. Okay. We drink. Please, wait 20 minutes, come back, do blowy, and see what happens. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Hi. This was a great drink, and uh, I still feel not like last week, or with Sandy, the freaking shenanigator in that Goombay right? smash that had us hammered until the next morning, almost. We were drunk until the next morning. Oh, Lord. Yeah, no, she... Um, Slept like a baby. This drink is actually really good. I could have multiple more, and because it's so cold out, um, we might have. Well, it's got me wondering now what I'm doing in the MDR, because every time I drink this drink in the MDR, I end up hammered. But I think it's the 14 other drinks. Maybe not <laughs> particularly this drink. It is. Because you drink this. It might, my shit's blowing away. By the way, the snack of the week is a picnic. <laughs> there you baby, go. It's a little baby french fries. See? It's a little baby french fries and you go. No. I think it's, um, you, you usually have. 0.09. <clears throat> four to five drinks during dinner. Yeah, yeah. Well, the paradise. And I think that's boy, the I problem. Stepped in. I did it again, man. I right? think every time I promise myself embarkation day is going to go a lot smoother. And every time I step in a pile of it. You do. And we drank a chocolatini, an apple teeny, and a Jamaican coffee at dinner. Right. I, well, and I'm saying, and I that think was like you just drink a lot 10 of through it. 13 at dinner. The damn thing was so full, I was spilling it all over. And I was probably relatively hammered. It happens. Whatever you do on a cruise, you're going to do more of. That's that's cruise life. It, that's why it appeals to so many. We're the same again. Sisters. That is awesome. Okay, I've never been the same AB or blood up B B A B A C. Ha ha. Ah. You got that shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Anyway, I could have another one of these. They were really delicious on a blustery. Yeah, beautiful winter drink. Yeah, beautiful winter drink. So, you know, if we ever see a 40 degree temperature day, this would be a great day. Um, I know, like, during the winter, it gets to, like, 60 is a high. I think high. they activate FEMA when it gets to 40 here. It, it it's, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> um, but this is the type of weather when I usually at night, I'm like, I, I need more than just a t-shirt and a tank top. 
You gotta put socks on with your flip flops. Right? It's an issue. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a real thing. It is a thing. <laughs> so Jamaican coffee, I I love these things. Um, yeah, I don't drink. We only drink the one a day, but it's right? been it's become a staple for us after dinner, a way to close it up because it's just a really nice, uh, sweet. Mm -hmm. It's got just enough uh, heat from the booze in it and uh, that nice spicy flavor in it. Delish. Drink one or drink two? Because drink two, we modded the heck out of the recipe. I would do drink two at the house, but I do always look forward to it on the ship. Like I said, it's it's like your embarkation. That first drink is always going to be something, you know, that one. Right. And then that after dinner drink for us has become the Jamaican coffee. So. I like coffee. Yeah. Coffee makes me happy. Happy coffee. Then he likes it when I'm happy. All right, let's wrap this shit up. Okay, Jamaican coffee. Thumbs up, dude. Ooh. <laughs> so much love, guys. We love you guys. Celebrate the Celebrate day. Celebrate the day. Thanks for watching. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.